Hello all you wonderful people out there. This is a little short episode for y'all. I'm following up on the last year's Lost in the Farmer's Market Garden Short video about figs. Now I've talked about them and here we're going to show them from my lovely kitchen counter. Now, what a lot of my customers are confused about, or ask me questions about rather, is what the difference between readiness is. Now we're going to get up a close. See these? Especially this one right here. That's what I call bursting or jelly ripe. That's where they're so ripe and so full of moisture that they tear themselves open. These are white ashia figs you're looking at. And by the way, this is the temporary indoor pointy stick of destiny in front of you. Now, you can see that one, how it's got a star tear on it. These are all super soft and will not last long in storage. They're the ripest they can get without rotting or being eaten by animals or people. Over here we have perfect ripe, or ideal ripeness. Now as you can see, in this one here, it has what's the beginning of a star tear at the end. It's leaking honeydew. It's why it's all juicy looking. Um, you can see the hole at the bottom is enlarged. This one's a really good one right here, this one. Um, you can see that there's stuff coming out of these. These are, again, white as she is. They leak honeydew from the inside when they're perfectly ripe. You can pick them at a certain stage and store them in the fridge and they will ripen up fully in the fridge. Now over here we have firm ripe. This is the first stage of ripeness. Now sometimes they'll leave honeydew, but usually you have a perfectly formed aperture at the bottom there. See that? And it has not been distended. Now in case you're wondering, there are no wasps in these. That is the hole in which the wasp would normally go in and it'd go in there and do the pollination inside. Uh, figs are a syconium. They're technically a flower turned inside out. Uh, beyond that, these are firm ripe. This is the ideal ripeness. Now, white she is are very dramatic about their ripeness. Unlike Chicago Hardies, which are not. You have to feel them to know they're ripe. They're about as tender as maybe a plum when they're ripe. These get tender too, but they're not... This is absolute tenderness. At this point, it's like a, sm a soft peach. Here, it's like a decently firm plum. Now, Chicago Hardies instead demonstrate this cracking on the side, which tells me when they're ready at a glance. Here's a good one. See this one right here with this cracking down here? That actually isn't a Chicago Hardy. That is a Celeste. They're mixed together because they're both brown, and nobody else can tell the difference, really. But they start to crack along the side, indicating that they're ready to go. Uh, that's how I can tell without touching them. But, as you can see, these are the states of ripeness of figs. I thought I'd share this with you in a little short video. Thanks for watching, folks. More content to come despite the computer problems. Keep them growing, folks.